Hi everyone, welcome to the second part of our H5P branching scenario activity series. In this video, I will show you how to create an image map within our branching scenario. So here we provide more information for students uh, within an image map, and I'll show you how to create this. If you haven't watched the first part, please go back and watch the first part before you watch this second part. Before I go further with chapter three, I want to spice things up a bit here for option two under chapter one, as well as option two under chapter two. Okay, I want to spice things up. So instead of them going to the question and from here going to the question, I want to provide an image hotspot for them to actually learn something. So here they don't learn something because they just jump into the question and then they need to, and then they know they need to choose the first option or the second option. Okay. But I want them to learn something before they attempt the question again. Okay. So let's use the image hotspots and I'll drag it just underneath uh, my second option. Remember, this is question one. Okay. I'll leave that as image hotspot. So I'll just remove the untitled here. Okay. And now we need to add a background image. So I have a background image. Remember, this is based on the firefighter and the chef. So I'll add here. My first image will be a firefighter. I'll open it. So there's my image. And just to give you an idea what this image is about, I'll just open it and uh, show you. So. I have an image of a fire firefighters here, and it's basically broken down into three. So my first question, what they do, my second one, what they, where they work, and my third one, the importance of their job. And this is all based on firefighters. Okay. I also have one on chefs. So this is the one on a, a chef. So I have what they do, where they work, and the importance of their job. Okay. So let's use the first one. So I've added it as my background. And now when I scroll down, I can add the alt text. So I'll just copy and paste it in here. Now I can choose a predefined icon or I can upload a, an icon. So I'll leave it on predefined icons. Now the predefined icons are either plus, minus, times, check, question, info, and exclamation. I'll usually choose information because I'm providing them with extra information. Okay. I can specify the color here. Since I'll be using yellow and brown, I can choose uh, those colors or I can stick with the colors, the default colors. Okay. Um, but I can choose different colors here. So let's just see what we can do a little bit darker. Yeah, that's fine for me. Okay. So I'll choose that color. Now, if I scroll down, if this is too small, you can increase the size here by clicking on this resize icon here and it will increase the size. You'll see that little green dot there. Okay. Now the first, what I want to do here is when they click on the predefined icon, it should uh, provide a pop up with some information on what the firefighter do and then a second one where they work and then a third one the importance of their job so what i'll do is i'll just click on just next to what they do i'll click on there and the dot the green dot becomes available there okay so that's the first one so i'll decrease it again Okay, so it sticks there to number one. Just make sure that it doesn't cover the, the text there. So just a bit further to the right, I'll click there. Okay, I'll scroll down. I can provide a heading for this and I'll just call it firefighters. So that's it. And now I need to choose what the pop up will be. Okay. Now I can select from either text, video, an image, or an audio file. Okay, so I'll leave it on text for now, but later on we'll we can choose video, image, or audio. I'll click, I'll select text, and now I can add the specific text. Remember, we're dealing with what they do, so I've prepared some text on what they do. So I'll just copy and paste it in there. This is what they do. And now 
I want to add a, a second item or a second hotspot. So I'll click on add an hotspot or I can click on add an item. Okay. If I click on add an item, I can select the different items. So this is the difference. Add an item means I can add more than one item to that particular hotspot. Okay. But add a hotspot, I can add a second hotspot on the same background. Okay. So that's the difference. So I'll click on add a hotspot. Remember, I'm using the same background. I'll resize and now I need to specify where I want the second hotspot. I'll just click next to the second, my second text where they work. Okay. I'll decrease it again and now I can specify. I can either choose to, to keep it the same header or I can leave the header out altogether. Okay. This will also be text and now I can just grab my text from my Word document. And I'll paste it in here. Okay. I'll add another hotspot. I'll in I'll resize it, and now this is my third one here. Okay, so there's my third one, and now I'll grab my third text snippet, and I will choose text here, and I will paste it in there. Okay, so that's fine for now. What should they do? They can proceed, but now important, they need to go back to question one. Okay. After this, they need to go back to question one. But remember, I also want them to see the chef information. Okay. So after this hotspot, they need to look at the chef information as well. Okay. So let's click on done. So now I'm done and there's my image hotspot. Okay. So let's preview this and see what it looks like. I'll click on preview and we'll skip through these. I'll choose the correct option. You can go through it. You can go through it. I'll choose the correct option again. You can go. Oh no. I need to choose the incorrect option to see what happens. Okay. So let's go back. We'll start with chapter one. Proceed. I'll choose the incorrect option. There's my video. I'll proceed. There's my feedback. I'll proceed. And now there's my little hotspots. Remember, we've changed the colors. So when they hover over it, you'll see there's some animation over the three icons that we've added. So now when they click on what they do, they can click on it and it will provide this um, information regarding the what they do now i can this, the headers i can specify what they do where they work as well as the importance of their job so i can specify the headers there okay so this is an image hotspot and we've chosen text but we can also choose video or audio or an image okay so let's add, go back to edit i want to edit the image hotspots I'll click on the gear icon and I'll click on edit content. And now I want to specify the headers. So the first one is what they do. So I'll just copy and paste it from my Word document. So that becomes what they do. And then the second one becomes where they work. That's that, where they work. And then the third one becomes there why is their jobs important okay so there i'm done so now i can preview it again so i'll do that i'll just start from chapter one from there chef proceed proceed okay so there's my hotspots and now when i click on it what they do where they work and then uh, the importance of their job. Okay, I think this looks kind of nice. So we can do the same for the chef, uh, just to provide them with more information. So when I click next now, it will go back. Okay, we need to specify where they need to jump from here. Okay, so you'll notice when we uh, click on edit here, and we select advanced branching scenario you'll see that the jump now is to the hotspot and not to the question one click on done okay 
So there's our first image hotspot and we can add another image hotspot. So let's do that. So underneath here, we can drag the image hotspot again, add it here, and this will become image hotspot. You can even specify this is the chef and the other one is the firefighters. Add an image and I'll add that chef image. Okay, so that's added. You can just specify my alt text here. And now I can choose my info. I can choose a different color. So let's choose something here. Okay. And then I can specify where this should be. So I'll leave it on there. That's my first one. And my first one is what they do. So I'll just copy and paste my text in here. Remember we're choosing text and I'll just paste my text in there. Okay. And this is basically what they do. Okay, so I'll paste it in there. And then I'll add another hotspot. So the second one will be where they work. Just close that. And that will be where they work. I'll just copy it from a Word document. And then I'll choose text. And then... I'll just choose the text here, uh, the third one. There we go, and that's the third my header, and now my text. Okay, I'm done. So now I can click on done. Remember now, after this, they need to go to the question. So I'll specify here in my advanced branching scenario, they need to jump to another branch and it should take them to my first question. Oops, I'm done. So there we go. There's our two images or our image hotspots. Let's preview from chapter one. Okay, there we go. I'll choose the incorrect option. Proceed. So there's my feedback and then I can go to my firefighter. That's that. I can go to where and I can go to importance. When I click on proceed, it should take me to the chef. Okay, so there's my chef. That one, this one. And now if I proceed, it should take me to the questions. Okay, so there's my questions and now based on the information we've provided them, they now need to choose the correct option, which is the firefighter. Let's go back to our edit mode. And as you notice that this is still just underneath the chef video. Okay, now before they jump to the image hotspots, I want to provide them with instructions that they are going to uh, view the image hotspots and we will provide them with information. Now, how do I do that? I'll go to my feedback slide. I'll click on the gear icon. I'll click on edit content. And now when I open the advanced branching options, you'll see we've never provided feedback on uh, the slide here. Okay, so here we can provide a feedback title. So this will be our instructions. So I'll just grab it from my Word document. I'll call this uh, instructions and then my feedback text will be. Okay, so this feedback tells them that uh, we're providing them with more information, which will allow them to better understand the content and uh, make better choices. Okay, I'll scroll down. I'll even add an a feedback image. So let's click on add. So I'll select my learn more image. I'll open it and it will be uploaded to my image uh, feedback image. I'll click on done. And now we can preview it again. I'll go to my chapter one. Proceed. I'll answer the incorrect question. I'll proceed. So there's my feedback. Remember, there's my normal feedback telling the students that uh, the option was incorrect. And when I click on proceed, 
will show that image that I've just added and then the instructions. Before attempting the questions again, you can find more information about the firefighters and so forth on the hotspots. And now we jump to the hotspots. Okay, so now they need, they know exactly the instructions we are providing them. So now they can do the hotspots, do the second hotspot, and then they can take the question questions. Okay, so um, we're just providing them with instructions the, the way forward. Okay, let's go back to our edit view, and that was on the uh, the feedback slide. Okay, right at the bottom you'll see that there's hundred percent zoom to fit. If you want to see all the features that we've added, you just click on zoom to fit, and you will see all the images or all the hotspots, everything we've added to the window here. You'll also see on your right, bottom right, there's a one. Sometimes you'll see more than one there. If you click on that, you'll see that one alternative or alternatives are missing uh, to the custom end. And you, if we can, if we click on this highlighted area, it will highlight the features or the slides indicating where the error or where something is missing. So if we click on that now, you'll see that chapter three, since there's no end screen here, we haven't added an end screen. So that's why it highlights the one or the two or the three or the four. If you want to uh, click out of this view, you just click on any of the black areas here and it will return to our main window. Okay, so now you know the one stands for this is unfinished, so we still need to finish this.